let's talk about equally likely outcomes let's imagine that this is a sample space and here we have a few equally likely outcomes this is one of them this is another one third fourth fifth sixth seventh eight nine ten eleven and twelfth so we have 12 equally likely outcomes that cover up the entire sample space okay so what does our intuition say what do you think the probability of any single one of them is pause the video think about it what's the probability well if all of them are equally likely and the sum of all the probabilities which is the probability of the sample space that's one so that's going to be divided equally amongst all 12 of them so this p should be equal to 1 by 12 and that's the right answer but we're also going to prove this using the axioms that we discussed in the previous video okay let's do this step by step the sample space is s and we have these 12 equally likely outcomes we know that the probability of each of them is the same they're all equally likely and that's by definition because that's exactly how we have defined these orange events we also know that the probability of the sample space this entire sample space is one we know this by our axiom two so what we can do is we can replace this s we can say that this s is the union of all 12 of these so we can say that this s is the union of w1 and w2 and w3 and so on to w12 this means that the probability of union of all 12 of them is equal to 1 and here comes the fun part we know that all 12 of them are mutually exclusive there is no overlap and because they're mutually exclusive we can use our third axiom and say that we can break this probability down as the sum of individual probabilities we can say that this is equal to the sum of each probability probability of w1 probability of w2 and so on this is also equal to 1 we can say that by axiom 3 all these probabilities are equal let's say that that value is p so we have 12 p's all of them adding up to 1 so 12 p is 1 and that means p is equal to 1 by 12 so your intuition was right the probability is 1 by 12 but this is how you prove it using the axioms that we have discussed and by the way there is nothing special about this number 12 we can generalize this in general for n equally likely outcomes if there were n such events which were mutually exclusive and exhaustive we can say that the probability of each of them would be equal to 1 by n this is the probability for every single one of them let's take this one step further let's say we have a bigger event let's say we have this green event which is the combination of these smaller six equally likely orange events what do you think what is the probability of this green event well you might say that this green event is six times larger than this orange event so the probability should be equal to six times one by twelve that's six by twelve which is equal to half but let's break the steps down if the sample space has 12 equally likely outcomes and an event e has six of them the probability is six by twelve and now we can generalize this if the sample space has n equally likely outcomes and an event e has m of them then the probability is equal to m by n so the probability of any event e is equal to m by n in the case of equally likely outcomes where m is the number of favorable outcomes and n is the number of total outcomes you might have seen this written in one of your earlier textbooks maybe in your seventh or eighth grade and this is where it comes from okay so let's quickly practice what you've just learned let's say we have this scenario where a coin is tossed three times and let's say we have these three events event a is when no head appears in all three of them event b is when exactly one head appears and event c is when at least two heads appear find the probabilities of all three of them pause the video think about it okay so let's do this together the first step is the same let's figure out the sample space so when you toss three coins you can get no head you can get all three of them as tails or you can get one head maybe the last one is head maybe the middle one or maybe the first one these are the cases when we have one head or you can have two heads when you have these two or these two or these two as heads 
or you can have all three of them heads. Okay, so this is your sample space. Now let's look at events. The first one is event A where we have no head. That's the first one. And because all of them are equally likely, we can say that the probability of this event is one by eight because there are eight such events. Similarly, for exactly one head, we have these three events and all of them are equally likely. So the probability is three by eight. And for at least two heads, we have these four events, all four of them are equally likely. Probability is four by eight. That's how you calculate the probability in case of equally likely events.